Yes, thank you, sir. A gun trafficking ring busted up tonight, and one of the men arrested, it turns out, is a New York subway conductor. The ring charged with buying weapons in South Carolina and Virginia and then moving them up the so-called iron pipeline to be sold on the streets of Brooklyn, where gun violence this year has skyrocketed. So will this make a dent in that? Here's Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Bergen. Prosecutors say the weapons were driven onto the streets of Brooklyn after they were purchased legally in states with lax gun laws, then used by gang members to commit robberies and to settle scores. Brooklyn DA Eric Gonzalez. 70% of the guns and the weapons that are recovered or used in crime scenes in New York City come from these southern states. A total of four men were charged in a 139-count indictment for gun trafficking. One of the suspects is Vernal Douglas, a subway conductor from Brooklyn. Police say he obtained guns in South Carolina and, along with two other men, provided them to 49-year-old Montoon Hart, the alleged ringleader. Prosecutors say the surge in shootings this past summer would not have been possible without these alleged traffickers and others like them. They didn't know guns will be used to commit crimes. They simply don't care. Officers seized a huge cache of weapons, including semi-automatic handguns and assault rifles. The arrests were the result of a tip and are based on undercover buys, intercepted text messages, and wiretaps like this. Good morning. I feel like crazy. I know y'all seen it on the news down there. Shot a one-year-old baby in the stomach. They ain't know it was a one-year-old baby in the park. And they shot, they shot. Prosecutors say Montoon Hart sold 44 firearms to undercover officers in a total of 27 separate transactions. He was ordered held without bail. Two others remain in custody, including Douglas, and a fourth man identified as Christopher Hodges of South Carolina is still being sought tonight.